All right, cool. Okay. Hey everyone, happy digital do the brew. I'm Megan here with Zach from Brickway in Omaha. Zach, thanks so much for joining us this morning. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Happy to be here. How are you doing, Megan? Good, good. Yeah, excited to have you guys. I know that um, in this time, you guys have been really super busy. So uh, I appreciate you taking the time out to chat with us today. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, hey, what are you what are you sipping on there? Uh, that's a little of our uh, American single malt whiskey we make here at Brickway. Awesome. That's a good way to start every day, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> cool, cool. So, hey, tell us a little bit about some of the new stuff that you've got um, planned for release for this summer, this fall. What does your guys' brew and schedule look like at this point? Uh, you know, we've got uh, probably more seasonals during the summer than any other time. So uh, we have our raspberry heft that just came out. We have the jalapeno pineapple pills, which it's been out here for a little bit, but it, uh, you know, long term, I believe it's just going to be a summer seasonal. We're bringing back lime pills here in probably another 30 days. And then we have our quizzical series, which uh, are our sours that we're doing, you know, one barrel of at a time in our uh, uh, test fermenter. And so there's often always a, a different quizzical on, which is, pretty fun. We'll take, uh, you know, some sour mash and, you know, add some fruits and uh, Mitchell, our head brewer, really takes care of all of that. And every time I'm surprised uh, how weird and how good they really are. That's awesome. That's really, I mean, it's always so great to have those rotating taps, but then to throw on the really interesting stuff and um, be able to allow the brewers to play and you know really express themselves and their craft is something that's really special and i think you guys do that really well at brickway so yeah yeah so who's the who's the guy over your shoulder there uh billy d williams <laughs> <laughs> billy d williams approved awesome awesome i think that's you know if you're gonna go into making any alcohol you need it to be court colt 45 <laughs> standard or above right and behind my head, uh, move. Uh, that's uh, an old, old, old style sign. I actually got that in college, and uh, it's still intact. Uh, and and it works, except for the light is broken. I just have to replace it. Gotcha. Awesome. Beer swag's always, always good. So you know, especially in these times when you want to like make your home den or you know that home bar really feel special. That sort of beer swag's nice. It's also good to have in an office. Yeah. Perks of perks of working in the beer industry. So Absolutely. I get to hide downstairs in the basement all the time. People ask me, Zach, we never see you at Brickway. It's because I'm hiding down here. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perks, perks of the gig, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, can you tell us a little bit, you guys have been working really hard on the um, hand sanitizer. And can you talk about really what sparked the idea for that? Um, we know that you've handed it out all over the place and you've got it on tap and it's doing really good things, but what sparked the idea behind it? Oh, probably going back about, I guess it's probably about a month now, um, the need for hand sanitizer was just popping up all over. And because we have a distillery, it made sense that, you know, we should get into the game. We have all of the equipment we need. So we're using our stills. We're using all of our mash equipment. We're um, using the same bottle filler, the same pumps. We have all the equipment. And so why not fill the need? And when we started this, I thought, you know, we could help a few people and we did 4,000 bottles and those 4,000 bottles were gone uh, in less than a week. It is just astonishing the need out there. I never would have imagined. And I think uh, after today, we will have exceeded 3,000 gallons of hand sanitizer. Um, and we're, we're giving it all away, uh, but a lot of people are kind enough to leave us a donation so we can keep the production going and uh, be able to keep buying uh, all the raw materials that we need. That's, <laughs> excuse me, that is so amazing. And I know that, you know, from Hastings, uh, I've got friends in Omaha who waited in line to make sure that they got they got their hands on some and they were sending us videos and whatnot, like, I got it, I got it. So it is... A, really huge service that you guys were able to to provide and you know i'm sure it gives your folks something to do you've been busy right from photos i see on social media stalking it looks like all hands on deck literally like 
everyone and everyone's kids. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, those are my kids that you saw in some of those pictures. Uh, and, you know, that's the best kind of homeschooling is, uh, you know, get out, help the community and do some good. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really great. So, hey, can you talk a little bit, you know, once things start to turn around and get back to a more normal feeling, um, what are some cool things that you guys have coming up there that we can all look forward to? Uh, well, our our new sherry barrel aged whiskey, uh, which uh, is available now, that's something that if you haven't been down to try some or to grab a bottle, it is literally the best thing I've ever made in my entire life. And so it's worth coming down and uh, trying a dram if you're able or grab a bottle to go. Um, I, I really love people uh, getting an opportunity to try it. It's delicious whiskey. That's awesome. And they can get it there in the tap room. Is it available um, elsewhere or is it primarily tap room at this point? Uh, we've sold about 10 cases out into the open market. And so it's it's in a few stores, um, but uh, you know, the bulk of it's here. And uh, we are operating right now as a liquor store. So, and you, know, you get all of the, fill your growlers, grab you know a case of beer and get whatever spirits you need. Uh, everything is 20% off every day. We're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And uh, it is great. You mentioned about keeping, uh, you know, our crew busy making hand sanitizer. You know, when this first happened, uh, I had to lay off nine people, which, I mean, really hurt my soul. Uh, you know, we're all a team. We're a family. We work together every day. And uh, I've been able to bring back almost everybody with uh, this hand sanitizer project. And so... It's been great. There's been some fun, unintended consequences. Uh, a lot of uh, nice restaurant owners uh, have uh, sent us all lunch during the day. And uh, still, we're all stopping what we're doing. And we all sit down as a group and eat a meal together. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of days, you know, we are able to, you know, send for takeout from other, you know, local places and give some dollars back. Uh, so this group eating, you know, of course, we're trying to social distance as best we can. But uh, it's it's really been a fun, unintended consequence. That's so good to hear. I feel like a lot of times in this situation, you're hearing, you know, the, the sad stories. But it's great that you were able to bring those crew members back. And, you know, you're able to have those lunches together and then extend that hand back out into the community, whether it's supporting small business or, you know, by providing the hand sanitizers and whatnot. So. That is just amazing. Cheers. I would totally have a beer with you right now, but I'm seven months pregnant. So yeah, well, congratulations. No yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so bad. But I'll um beer waiting for you uh once uh you're ready. I will take it for sure. For sure. Yeah, okay. So we've asked this to a couple of the brewmasters and owners. What is because one of them was caught on camera and shared and went a little viral. So what is one of the most disastrous brew day events or disastrous projects you guys have had there that some people are lucky to have on camera and then be able to share? Or <laughs> if there's something else that's even better, if you could share a fun story like that, that'd be cool. Yeah, uh, we installed video cameras about a year ago and the video cameras have paid their dividends because the silly stuff we've caught on camera has been, uh, it's been pretty fun. Uh, our biggest moment, uh, we're calling it Mitchell's Mondays. Uh, he uh, was uh, draining the mash tun after running off to the brew kettle and opened the manway before all the liquid was out. And the entire volume of the mash spilled out of the manway, onto the floor, into the women's bathroom, through the women's bathroom, into the hallway. It was a huge mess. Uh, I ended up putting that uh, on our Facebook page, and it's probably the only video we've done that literally went viral. I think uh, it's had over 4 million views. Um, we got called by ridiculousness to put it on their show. It, uh, it, it was pretty pretty amazing. And, and the best part is most people watching it don't know what happened. They think we actually lost beer. We didn't actually lose anything, but it was a bitch to clean up. <laughs> I can only imagine. MASH is not the fun part. You know, it's it's wet, it's sticky, it's, you know, particly, so it spreads everywhere. If you're not familiar with what a mash is, um, it's the wet grain after 
the uh, alcohol, the beer has moved, well, not beer yet, but after the water and everything has been moved off of it. And so it's like if you have almost done oatmeal that you were to spill all over your kitchen, right? Yep. Just a sticky gross mess. <laughs> Gosh, that is awesome and horrible at the same time. So did he just get to clean that up? Was that his responsibility? Uh, we had some of the team members help out as well. <laughs> That'd be a good, yeah, like, hey, welcome to the team. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you guys were very generous and donated some items to our auction. And all of the proceeds that are uh, provided for the auction for your items come directly back to you guys at Brickway. Can you talk a little bit about what folks can look for on the auction block today? Uh, I absolutely cannot. Um, <laughs> it, and I have no idea, but I, I asked him to put together a box that had a bunch of beer and a bunch of spirits in it um, and maybe some swag. So whatever it is, I'm sure Chad did a fantastic job and uh, we'll have beer and liquor. Um, if he did what I asked him to do. And so if he didn't, now I'm throwing him under the bus. I think that's what it is. We'll say, hey, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it is a good package. Just be sure to get up on the website and look it up. Well, we've got a link to that underneath this video bio. So people will be able to find it anyway. So I stumped someone, yes. <laughs> that was such a hard hitting question too. <laughs> Stump the Brewer is always a fun game. Yeah, 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 cool. Well, hey, um, I really thank you again for taking your time out. I know you guys are going to get ready to open here soon. So thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And- well, Megan, can I just share with people uh, how to best get hand sanitizer if they need some? Yeah, 100%. I've been answering, this is not an exaggeration, thousands of emails and thousands of Facebook messages. And so just want to get the word out. Uh, we are going to continue to make hand sanitizer for the foreseeable future, and you can get it here for free seven days a week, Sunday, excuse me, Saturday through Thursday. If you come in, we're giving everybody a 10-ounce bottle for free um, and one per person. If you come on Fridays, we are doing bring your own bottle, BYOB. We'll fill up up to 64 ounces for you, um, but there are lines on Fridays to get the extra typically. Um, so today I'm sure is going to be a real busy day, but we, we want to help anybody who can. People have been traveling from all over the state, all over Iowa and South Dakota to come down and see us. We can't ship it. It's just, it's too big of an undertaking to try to do, but uh, if you need some, come and see us. If you, you know, work at a medical facility, we're, we're giving extra to everyone that works in medical, first responders, fire, police. Um, and we've been able to get it to all these places, uh, throughout most of the state, uh, but we do ask that you come here and grab it for us. Uh, feel free to email me at Zach, Z-A-C, at drinkbrickway.com if uh, you're one of those people that uh, are first responders or medical, and we'll, we'll work to get you some extra. That is so amazing. Thank you so much, and thank your team, too, for all of the hard work that they've been putting in during this time, and, you know, it's a real uh, testament to what stand up and awesome folks you guys have there. So thank you again. Yeah. Of course, thank you. Everybody have a great time. I uh, look forward to being with you all at a real beer festival or a live in-person beer festival sometime soon. Yeah, so, yeah. thanks. Cheers.